Hey, what's up, everybody? It's almost uh, 1,300 hours on 21st of September here in funny, sunny Orlando, Florida. Anyway, today's video will be on uh, how to configure quick commands on the radio when using the open spot. Uh, say hello, Robert. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And... Uh, we are going to go ahead and use the CS, uh, so the cloning software from ICOMP, to uh, put the commands into my ID50. All right, so well, let's get to it. And sorry for the shaky hands. I don't have a tripod or anything. Just using my cell phone. So I'll go ahead. I'm going to pop up the CS uh, software, cloning software. And uh, just so you know, cloning software... Uh, is per radio so uh, if you're using the IC705 it's going to be the CS-705 you're using the ID52 it's a CS-52 if you're doing the ID5100 it's going to be the CS-5100 and so on and as you can see I already have where it says your call sign highlighted so you want to go to uh, digital then go to your call sign and most people, what they do is they put the call sign, their name there and the call sign, and they leave all this blank. This is where the magic is, right in here. So I have commands here. Uh, let me scroll up. And of course, the first one is CQ, 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 so you can use your reflector. You always need this one. So that's number one. Everything else below that is a command that I use to send a message to the open spot and say, hey, change a reflector or go to uh, Brandmeister or go to uh, C4FM or whatever. Because you, you could cross mode using the same radio onto different modes, which is also awesome, pretty cool. So up here is the Brandmeister links and some other talk groups. Down here we have some reflectors starting with DCS 102 Bravo working on down. Uh, we also have some XLX re re uh, reflectors and XRF reflectors. So what we want to do is we're going to add some more reflectors. And I was going through a list and I was like, man, this, uh, this one looks like it might be fun. It's called a Zombie Apocalypse XLX 711. So <laughs> I'm like, let's, let's program that and at least use that to show you guys how to do it. What I want to do is, I want to put it between the 407 and the 980. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one, I'm going to highlight it, right click on my mouse, and I'm going to press insert. It created a spot in between those on channel number 27, if you want to call it a channel. And we're going to write, uh, let's see, XLX, what is it, 711. And for SNGs, we're going to call it zombie. Oops. Something happened there. Oh, it went over. It went over for whatever reason. So we're going to just call it zombie. And then over here is the magic. This is the true magic. That's just the name. Just like it says up there, name. This is the call sign. So that's call sign. Think of call sign like command. Command sign. How about that? Then we're going to just call it XLX711. Uh, AL. So it came out as um, not a cap like everything else. But it will still work the same. It will still work the same. Uh, but because I am... Got to have it right. X L L X seven one one Alpha Lima, and I'm hoping the it's Alpha mode. But if it's not, we can fix it later. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save that. I always save my files. Okay, it's saved, and now we're gonna write it to the radio. So how do I write to the radio? Go to Comport Setting. It's already saying 
COM port number 14, but we can search it. For instance, if you use different radio, it'll say ID 50, serial number, and COM port equals 14. You press OK, press OK. Go over here and send it to the radio. It takes a little while. So right to transceiver, of course. On your radio, you're gonna start seeing the clone in as well as on the computer. It's fairly quick, fairly quick. All right, it's gonna say clone is succeeded, turn off the radio. So we're gonna turn off the radio. And turn it back on. Perfect. So now we're gonna test it. We wanna to go to Zombie a Cop Apocalypse XLX 711. How do we know we're gonna get in there? Eh, unfortunately, a lot of these reflectors, there are so many of them, that now it, it's sparsely populated. You know, most people may be in very busy ones, but for the most part, uh, these, these specialty ones, I wanna call them. Um, not too many people on it, so we're gonna to go to Google or use your f favorite search engine. We're gonna go to uh, the reflector dashboard and uh, we'll go down to XLX 711. I'll put links to all this stuff on the bottom there. So in case you need information. And we're gonna go to 711. All right, there it is. Look at that. Zombie Apocalypse Command Resource and Preparations Training Center. Sounds official. <laughs> All right, we're going to click on that. Last person there was actually on the 19th of September. So it's, it's like in Europe. Date, month, year, and the time. And a C module. So there seems to be a lot of C module here, not so much A. So maybe I can change it to C, but we'll try A first. Why not? We'll try A. Uh, although A hasn't been used since June. Hmm. For SNGs, we'll play with the A module. Okay? So now we're going to go to my radio. And just like if you wanted to get onto D-Star, you just press and hold a DR. And up here where it says link, I'm going to go to your call sign. Remember, that's where the magic is at. And I'm going to go and scroll up to Zombie. Middle button, and now it's there, so we want to link to it, just like Reflector. Open spot, connected to XLX711 Alpha. All right, so now we're connected to XLX711 Alpha. And what we'll do is we're going to go to CQCQ. And I have it up here like that, use reflector, or you can go and you can highlight it, go to reflector, and use reflector, do it that way, and there you go, the same thing. There's two ways of doing it. I can do the knob, or I can go do the long way. All right, so we are on, yep, let's key the mic and see if anyone's out there. This is W1SRR testing into XLX711 for anyone. Hmm. Not making it. It says I'm there on the A mount, so I'm parked. So let's go to C. Let's change this up a little bit. This is fun. So there's no one there. It, ah, I popped up over here. So there it is. I also just popped up there as being the latest user. But look at it. September 21st, September 19th. So I'm the only, I'm alone. I'm basically alone here. All right. So what if we wanted to do one of the reflectors? Let's go to the reflectors up here on dstar.info. There's a bunch of reflectors down here. And let's say I wanted to... Um, make a quick command for one of these reflectors. I don't know. Let's look at. Uh, I'm not interested in, in California. Frankly, it's too far from me. 
but uh, let's see what else is there. Hmm, Michigan, Indiana, been there, beautiful. Georgia, okay. No out-of-state permalinking. Ah, that's weird. Oh, that's because that's 30. The 30, 30 Alpha, 30 Bravo, 30 Charlie. Let's go somewhere else. Parks on the air. 33 Charlie. Hey, I'm a Parks on the air guy. Let's go to 33 Charlie. We're going to go ahead and press static. Okay, there might have been some people there, unknown. But let's put 33 Charlie on my list. So we're going to go over here and we're going to look for REF 33 Charlie. And uh, I could do it the long way through the radio. Uh, I'll go to reflector, blah, blah, blah. But I want to make a shortcut. So we're going to go over here and let's put REF uh, above America Link. So I'm going to highlight America Link. Insert. Let's put. Uh, make sure my caps are locked. Yep, REF 30. And what was it? Uh, let's go back. It was 33, right? Uh, 33 Charlie, maybe. So let's go to 33 Charlie. And I could put Poda. Perfect. Over here, that's where the magic is. X, L, X. Zero, three, three, Charlie Link. Remember, there has to be eight characters here, so that's why I inserted the zero. Eight characters. Then I'm gonna save it. I always save it. I can always change it back later. And for S and G, since I'm here, let us change this one here to Charlie as well. Right? That was that zombie one. Boy, so I seen like there was a lot of people there. So we changed that to Charlie. Save it. And I'm gonna write it to the radio. Okay. Perfect. Now it's gonna write it to my radio. Done. Got to reboot the radio. There it is. All right. And we're going to go back down to DR. Link to reflector. Your call sign. Now I'm going to go for, look for 33 Charlie. Bam, bam, bam. Should be right there. Select key. It's gonna tell me that I'm on 33 Charlie. Open spot connected to X L X zero three three Charlie. Ah, did I goof up? Yeah, I did because it's not an XLX. It's a REF. Ah, so you see, I goofed up. This is actually REF over here, but I put XLX over here. So is that a goof up? Yeah, it is, but that's an easy fix. This is the nice thing about playing with these radios, man. It's a, you can fix it easily. So we're gonna change that to REF. And yeah, it's a little bit of working around, but now it's correct. You see REF 33 Charlie. Did I do that intentionally? Heck no. That was a silly mistake, but we all learn from mistakes, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to write to the transceiver. Takes a while. And we're almost done with the video, everyone. Sorry for the long video. It's going over 15 minutes now. But I want to show you how easy it is to put these commands onto your, onto your radio. And you could do this on any icon radio that has D Star. So the 52, the 51, 705, uh, uh, 5100, 4100, uh, anything like that. You can put these in. You can even swap out the um, CSV files. So you can fi save files over from one radio to another and clone them. 
doesn't have to be the same exact radio. So there it is, link to reflector. We're gonna go to your call sign because that's the easy one. We're gonna go back up to Poda. All right. Then what I'm gonna do real quick, we're gonna go to the dashboard and I'm gonna key the mic. So push to talk and do a kerchunk. Charlie. Okay, 033 Charlie. And let's see if it pops up here on their website. W1SRR testing into 33 Charlie. Put it on. And it may take a little while for population onto the uh, control panel, or I may have to just refresh it. Let's see. Nope, not yet. But it does take a little while for it to happen. It doesn't seem like there's anyone there right now. Um, there is, the last person was on an A module. Let me check what I did here. I might have to change it again, but we'll see. Yeah, I put it on a C module. C, C. So they might, I might have goofed up there. It might be just A module. Uh, but there was someone here in the C module here, so who, who's to say? Who is to say? Anyways, everyone, uh, fairly easy. You could do this for your most popular reflectors, uh, like 30, 30 Charlie and 001 Charlie, or you could do for a local repeater, uh, like we have here uh, for Poda, Poda guys, which is 33 uh, uh, Charlie or Alpha. And uh, I hope this helps you uh, configure your radio, whatever radio you have from ICOM, which is awesome. ICOM spells Maki <laughs> backwards. I don't know what that means. Let's just say that means awesome in some someone's language. I don't know. But um, yeah, have fun with your radio, and I hope to get you on, uh, on one of the reflectors one day. This is Mike, W1SRR. I'm going to sign off, and uh, leave your comments below if you can. 73s. And see ya.